starting off May with a bang, I guess. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> no pun intended when it comes to thunderstorms. <laughs> yeah, we are going to have the potential for strong to severe storms not only today behind me, the storm outlook for today, but also tomorrow and potentially into Wednesday. Now with today's threat, while all of us are under some sort of severe threat, with the greater threat lying north of Macon where you see that yellow color, that's the slight two of five risk. And then if you're south of Macon, you're in that marginal threat. Today's threat for severe weather does look pretty isolated. It definitely doesn't look to be a widespread threat, but nonetheless, we have the potential definitely have the ingredients for strong to severe storms today and already have seen some severe weather across the southeast this morning. When you walk out the door this morning, you will notice it is very warm and very muggy, so we already have fuel for storms even before the sun has come up this morning. Now the threats we're going to be looking for gusty wind, heavy rain, frequent lightning. Also the potential for maybe one inch diameter hail that will mainly be for the afternoon. Also a brief isolated tornado that can't be completely ruled out. I do think that that tornado threat is going to be greater up towards the Atlanta area, but north of Macon is where I think we'll be focusing on that. That threat is very low though. And again, our threat today is isolated when it comes to that severe threat. So what's going on right now? Warm front to our north along this weather system that the center of is up towards Tennessee and beyond behind this warm front is warm air. We're pulling in a lot of warm and moist air from the Gulf of Mexico, and you can see that thunderstorm activity is following that flow that's coming in at the surface and in the upper levels. We're getting that southwesterly flow from the upper levels of our atmosphere and what that's doing is allowing for thunderstorm activity already this morning in parts of Upson County and Taylor County rain rolling into parts of Monroe County and Jasper County also parts of Peach County. Nothing severe out there right now. Nothing strong out there either, but as we start to go through the day, while we could have a strong storm for the late morning after the sun rises, I do think our better chance for severe weather today is going to come for the afternoon. Again, that greater threat I do think lies to our north. We're going to have essentially these little waves of energy. We call them short waves. They're like baby fronts that are going to continue to push through the southeast and ultimately bring with it that chance for severe weather. So since these are such small scale features, they can be very hard to pinpoint exactly the timing and placement of them, even the day of. So right now, if you're north of Macon, we're going to be keeping a closer eye on you. But even as we head into the evening tonight, we'll watch again for just an isolated, strong to severe storm. Have a way to receive weather warnings just in case because that potential is there not only today, but tomorrow we're going to watch for another wave to roll through ahead of a cold front that moves through as we head into the overnight on Tuesday into Wednesday. For today, tornado threats low. The damaging wind gust threat is going to be the greatest. When it comes to flooding, don't think that's an issue. And we will be watching, of course, for that hail threat as we head into the afternoon. Tomorrow, stay weather aware, everyone. Just have a way to receive weather warnings as we go through the next few days. Tomorrow, I think we'll primarily be looking for the evening, potentially into the overnight. We'll keep a chance for rain and storms Wednesday, and we're finally dry Thursday all the way through the weekend.